Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Peyton. For those of you who do know me, thank you for coming back. Thank you for staying loyal. Love you forever and always. Y'all know that. And if you're new here, what took you so long? Welcome to the party. I'm glad you made it. Like about time. You know, if you're new, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and always remember to subscribe. I'm getting plenty of views, but y'all gotta subscribe. Like, y'all don't wanna keep seeing me? Is that what you're telling me? You don't wanna see this? Y'all over this? Cause like, I'm far from over it, okay? I surprise myself every day. And y'all don't wanna see me? As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm showing you how to do Bantu knots and I'm showing you the curls that you can achieve with Bantu knots. So this is more so like a flowy, it doesn't take as long for the curls to drop as opposed to pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners give you a really, really tight curl. I really wanted to do a style and I felt like this was, this was the quickest way to do it and achieve that. So I went ahead and I did it. And if you're curious to find out how I achieved this look, just stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so starting it off, um, I like to section my hair. I sped this clip up just a slight, slight bit. Um, I spray it with water. I don't like the sections to be drenched in water because you want your hair to be completely dry when you take out your bantu knots. I spray the roots with oil and the oil that I used throughout this video was rosehip oil. And once I finish oiling my scalp, I massage it in, twist the hair down, and then you wrap the hair around. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, everybody likes for you to explain something when they're learning something new, of course, even if they're visual learners. So you can see in the video that that is what I'm doing, and then I'm going to switch sides, and I'm just going to repeat the same method just so you guys can see it better. So yeah. Once the hair is completely twisted and wrapped, I like to tuck it at the end with my own hair. And then that's when I go in with my rubber band and I wrap the rubber band around just to secure that the knot is in and it's not loose and it won't slip out while it's drying. I want you guys to keep in mind that how big your section is, is going to determine how your curls come out. So always remember the bigger the section, the bigger the curl, the smaller the section, the smaller the curl. So yeah, whenever you're doing this and you want a smaller or tighter curl, go for a smaller section, of course. So yeah.
once I finish with my Bantu knots, I like to spray it with another layer of water and then I spray it with my Mia the Lock God moisturizing mist. And then I go back in with some more oil because like I said, you wanna make sure that your hair is completely dry. And when I do that, I blow dry my hair while I wait as well. I do that off camera. But with my hair being bleached, I just like to make sure it's extra, extra moisturized and I want as much oil as possible. So I was supposed to take these out the next day, but my hair wasn't dry. <laughs> So I waited another day. I kept the Bantu knots in and I just wore them as a style outside. I went to the beauty supply store, ran some errands, of course. But um, as I'm taking these out, still a couple of my locks weren't dry, but that's okay. You see the curl in this one? Period stink, period. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, I then go in and I pour some oil on my hands I did that off camera as well and that's when I proceed to take out the rest of my hair me using the blow dryer it really it felt like it made my hair really really dry so I just wanted to make sure I brought that moisture back in and I just put a whole bunch of oil in my hair like I promise you I put endless oil in my hair but that's for me my preference it's completely up to you guys but I do recommend <laughs> I know y'all can see everything that's in my glasses, but I just want y'all to know I'm feeling myself, okay? And that's exactly how you're going to feel when you do this style. You're going to be feeling yourself because I'm feeling myself. And that's on what? That's on per, okay? Per. Feeling myself stink. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. <laughs> Cause what? Huh? Who? The red lip with the blonde. Um. It's a done deal. Raps like it's over. It's over and done with. It's been dealt with. It's been handled. It's been crushed, demolished. I ate it up, no, I put it in my mouth, chewed it up, spit it back out, and gave it to you hoes because look, it's given all that <laughs> very much so. Let me, I'm feeling myself as I should. As you guys could tell from the beginning clip, this is the finishing product. I love it. I love it and I especially love it because of the blonde like this blonde is everything I'm so happy I did this it's just it it really screams Peyton and if you know me know me oh it screams Peyton like yeah like it's about time I did this because what was I waiting so long for why didn't I think of this before I just I love my hair I love the curls some curls are tighter than others because of the sections that I did pretty much do all of my styles like I always go out and people ask me like oh well somebody did your hair no I do all of my styles that's just my preference I like when I do my own hair I'm tender-headed I don't like when other people do my hair I'm not a fan of that but black owned business for this video is this t-shirt I'm wearing live to die i actually just did a photo shoot with her we went to school together she is from pg live in the dmv so if you're in the dmv especially go check her out and if you're not in the dmv especially go check her out um i will put the at name on the bottom of the video and in the description box go follow go buy some merchandise i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I enjoyed it. Comment down below any styles like y'all want to see or anything in particular that you want to see. Help a sister out. Like, give me some, give me some pointers. Let me know. I'm trying to hear the people. I'm trying to hear what y'all like, what y'all dislike. 
like whatever the case may be even if you follow me on instagram and you dm me give me tea give me all the tea i'm trying to hear all that but anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and share share with your mothers aunties uncles nephews nieces cousins brother sister the whole nine stink a butt because i'm here to stay and y'all know that by now so of course don't forget to subscribe smash the like button and i really really love y'all really appreciate y'all thank you thank you thank you i will catch you guys on What'd you say? Damn, she just threw me all track. That's all I have. So, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.